which team will give Carson Wentz? I know how fondly you are and think of, speak of Carson Wentz. Um, <laughs> the best chance to rebound here? Ready for this? I actually think it would be the Patriots. And I know they lack offensive weapons, and I don't think they're going to trade for them. Um, but I think what Carson Wentz needs is an attitude realignment first. As much as he's professed, and all the reporting coming out of Philadelphia is the same about this, as much as he's professed that, um, to want to get better and to want to be a better leader, and, as, as, and he's said to have a high football IQ and all those things, like everyone says that about him. He's super tough. I mean, you can see how tough a guy he is. He's tried to play through injuries that, where he shouldn't have even been on the field. Um, all those things are true, and yet he has, at times, I believe the real issue is failed to look in the mirror and really be accountable. And I think he's gotten so much praise from the media and, and has felt so protected in his situation that he had, that, you know, like they'd win, he'd play poorly. He was, oh my God, what a heroic performance. And so maybe he wasn't really taking accountability in the way he should have. I think he needs to go to a place where there's such gravitas on the coaching staff, right? Where the reputation of the place is enough to, 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 for him to humble himself in that way. Because Carson Wentz, not all that long ago, a couple of years ago, three or four years ago, was an excellent quarterback. But as you know, I don't think he's been an excellent quarterback for quite some time. And I don't think that his benching this year came out of the blue. Um, it's not like suddenly he was so great last year. And then what happened this year? I was saying all through the second half of last year, he's in fact not playing well. He's in fact costing his team. And so I, I think if he were to go to Belichick, he would at least be part of an organization where if the, if the st coaching staff needed him to do something, he would go out there and do it. And I think that's the most important thing for Wentz right now. Uh, in spite of the lack of offensive weapons, I think it would be the Patriots, actually. Yeah, listen, when, when, when you think about Carson Wentz, I would say this about the disagreement we start right here is, so, so Carson Wentz, has had a difficult last probably couple years. But at the end of last year, you really saw him help lead his team into the playoffs, right? Like when, when everybody was injured, he kind of stepped up and they, people talked about him carrying the team on his back and getting them into the playoffs and finding a way, w w Max, what you kind of call in heroics. But when you talk about a team that would be the best fit, the Patriots and the Patriot way and what they have – is. That's not going to benefit him. He needs a team like the Indianapolis Colts. And I'll tell you why. The nucleus of the team is built inside out, which Chris Ballard has done a fantastic job. He has good but not great outside help and, and young players who could potentially help him. The most important part is he has a fantastic offensive line that's young, minus Costanza, who just retired, so they'll, they'll have to replace a left tackle. But we, we know Ballard's not afraid to put money or resources in the offensive line. And he has a young running back in Taylor who was ascending and really showed what he can be now with, with guys who, you know, Mac being injured, coming back. Potentially, you have a few different options that will help you and help your game. I think he's athletic, which lends itself to moving the pocket, which we know Frank Reich is not afraid to do. Move the pocket, trap pass, two tight end sets, three tight end sets, right? Cram things in. If you need to spread it out, he can do all the so, – so the plethora of, of options – are there. I think the seamless transition becomes because when he is protected, he is a different quarterback. And I would liken this, and obviously people are going to hear this, and, and you look at what happened to Patrick Mahomes when he was pressured the way he was pressured in the Super Bowl. I played with a Hall of Fame quarterback in Peyton Manning. I played with Aaron Rodgers. I've watched Tom Brady his entire career. When players are pressured, and, and quarterbacks are on the run for their life. They are not the same guy. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.